hey guys welcome back to another video of geek Alert youtube channel so in this video i am going to tell you how you can install android subsystem with google play store support on your windows 11 pc so previously you were only able to install google uh, able to install amazon app store with android windows subsystem for android now you can install google play store so if you have already installed windows subsystem for android and do uninstall it by clicking on the start button after uninstalling it, you can follow this article to install Android subsystem with Google Play Store support. How you can do that? Let me show you. First, make sure you have enabled virtualization from in BIOS setting. After that, make sure you have enabled virtual machine platform. You can you can check out my previous video uh, to find out how you can do that. Also, if you want, you can change region to United States and you can update Microsoft Store as well. That's also I have mentioned in my previous videos okay so you can after after installing after installing windows 11 beta version and uh, completing these these three tasks you can uh, follow my instruction first you have to enable developer mode to enable developer mode search in windows developer settings open developer settings from here you can enable developer mode click on yes that's how you can enable developer mode of windows 11 after that you have to download wsa wsa gaps package with kernel file so this is not an official uh, official wsl package it's a custom made wsl package with gaps support so do, so that you can install google play store and apps in it so you can open open this link and i have uploaded both files on google drive so you can download it from there okay so once you got both files you will get a wsl package something like that zip file you have to extract this zip file okay once you extract this zip file open it now go to tools folder okay. you will also get kernel file in google drive so, so copy the, that and paste it inside tools folder click on replace the file in destination okay so once you replace it you have to install wsa package to install it right click anywhere and then click on ok so you have to successful windows powershell now and then you have to click on run as administrator ok once you get administrator permission you can now run these commands ok i am going to show you which command you can you have to run so this is the command that you have to run let's first change directory first type cd space and then copy wsa package directory okay open wsa package again open wsa package from here you can copy directory paste directory press enter now you have to type this command i will provide this command in description press enter okay so now windows subsystem for android is installed as you can see it's here okay so open it now enable uh, developer mode also enable optional diagnostic data if you want you can do that or you can skip this this option as well after that click on files option from here now wait it will start windows subsystem for android and after that files app will get open Once files app get open, automatically Google Play Store will also get installed in your system. So you don't have to sideload Google Play Store manually. It might take time initially. Let's just wait. Okay, so I am not gonna skip any part of this video. So that you can, okay. So files app got open. Now just wait. You will get here notification that Google Play. Let's see, it's here. Google Play product is turned on. It means Google Play Store app is got installed in your system. So now you can search for Play Store, and you can open this app. Okay, so now please don't sign in here. Sign in from here. You have to run few more commands in order to Play Store to work. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that. You have to download platform tools, SDK platform tools that you can download from Google. You can search on Google for SDK platform tools. Let me show you how.
okay so from here you can download sdk platform tools for windows download sdk platform tool extract the zip file open sdk platform tools folder right click anywhere and then click on open in windows terminal okay once it get open you you have to run three four commands first command is this you have to run this command in order to connect to windows subsystem okay you might get failed to authenticate error but don't worry you can again run need to check now it's saying already connected to port number and ip address after that you have to run this command dot slash adb shell okay now you have to come type su so you you are now go to root access once you got to root access you have to run this command send force set and force zero command okay now all commands you have successfully run all commands now close this window you can close this as well this as well okay now you can sign in on google play store now you will not get any server related error okay so now i'm, I'm going to enter password that's it google play store login done now you have to now wait it's installing google play services for ar you can check here all here okay so once it all get installed again you can open google play store but this time google play store will get open and from here you can install any google play store app okay let me show you one app to install let's install spotify so now you don't need to install any emulator you can simply down install play store and then you can install any app from play store as you can see spotify is also working here if i want i can use my google account as well which i already used before to sign into google play store i don't have to manually add extra google play store account okay so then let me select anything let's select i have to create account that's it now i can use any app any app in windows 11 You can run apps on full screen mode as well. Android apps. So no need to worry about it. It's working properly without any errors. Okay, so that's how you can install Google Play Store in your Windows 11 PC uh, by using win custom Windows subsystem with GAP support. So hope you like this video. And if you like this video plan, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can create such more videos like that. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like it.